Yes, you're probably seeing a little double right now. And the reason you are is because I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can manage participants in a Zoom. Uh, I'm actually in the Zoom twice as the host and as a participant. So what we're gonna do is just kind of show you how to do that. So um, when you wanna manage participants, um, first of all, you have people in your Zoom, at least one other person, and everything you see on the screen is gonna be based on what the participants are showing. So I'm on video. I don't have to be on video. I can turn my video off as the host. And then we're just gonna see the thumbnail might be a blank avatar, but if somebody actually uploaded their picture, you'll see that. Of course, you're seeing double because I'm here twice, but I'm the host and I'd like to share my video. Now, let's say that you've got an attendee who comes in and they're muted and they're not on video and you wanna kind of manage them a little bit. So I have this up all the time. Click on manage participants on the bottom. You will see a full list of everyone who is in your Zoom, uh, whether they're muted or on video or not. And so you can go ahead and manage them that way. And so let's say that I'm on video and I'm on audio, and I'd like to make sure that um, I can unmute my other participant if I want them to talk. So I can actually go hover over their user and I can unmute them. And so what happens is they get a message saying the host would like to unmute you. And that person can opt to stay muted or unmute themselves, but they can go ahead and unmute themselves and I'll just unmute myself through my here. And now I can actually hear myself twice because I'm talking through my phone, which is my second participant, and I can hear it um, in the call. So again, that person can, uh, can, can mute themselves, but let's say that they are talking and talking, or you have multiple participants and you need to shush them all. You can mute them yourself as the host, and only the host or co-host has the opportunity to this so mute, and now that person is muted. Um, you can also um, chat directly with a person in your participants. You can ask them to start video. So let's say that you're like, I need you to be on video. Um, I asked everybody else to be on video and you're not. So you can click a prompt to ask them to start video. And again, they get a prompt saying the host has asked you to start your video. Um, additionally, you can make a person the host or the co-host. This is important if you plan, like if you have to leave early from a meeting, but you need it to continue uh, and you don't want the meeting to end, um, you can make somebody else a host or a co-host. A co-host will have all of the opportunity and abilities you have to mute people, ask them to mute, ask them to, um, to unmute, ask them to do video or not. Um, you can also rename people if you're confused by phone numbers as far as like who is in the call. Um, you could rename somebody and say uh, Rachel too or mobile or something like that just to help you as the host keep it together. Plus, whatever you rename that person will show up to the rest of the people in the chat. So don't be mean. <laughs> um, you can also put somebody on hold. Uh, let's say that you just want them to stop. Maybe they're talking at length and you need them. Nope, I need you to put you on hold. Um, we'll bring you back in. Also, if you need somebody to maybe not be in the call for a little bit while you talk about things with the rest of the, of the group. Lastly, you can remove somebody. You can just remove them and it'll say, just to make sure you wanna remove Rachel, uh, Rachel to mobile, yes. And that person is now gone. So you have a lot of control over what happens in your Zoom. Um, you just need to know the features and they all reside up here in the manage participants and you can actually organize it based on that. Uh, notice also too, let's say that you have multiple people like we talked about and they're all talking at once. Right down here, you can instantly mute everyone else except yourself. Uh, you can also then in one fell swoop unmute people. So you do have a lot of options to control your participants and herd those cats. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments if you like this and uh, we'll have more.